Hey guys, hope you're having a great day. Your old buddy Tim back with another quick video. And in this video, we are going to answer the question that I get a lot. And that is this. Hey, Tim, what is the cost of living like there in North Alabama? And it's a valid question, especially for those of you who are moving here from uh, other places and you're used to things like high property taxes, uh, high income taxes, high sales taxes. Got some good news for you because here in North Alabama, uh, we have a pretty good uh, cost of living index and it is uh, actually a little less than uh, a lot of places in the country, a lot less than some. So what I want to do is I want to look at um, our main metros here, Huntsville, Madison, Athens, and Decatur, and just look at their cost of living as compared to the rest of the country. Now, before I do that, let's talk a little bit about property taxes, because that is one of the big topics that I get from folks. You know, they're asking about the property taxes because your property taxes figure into your monthly payment. And if you're in a state uh, like New Jersey and some of those that have really high property taxes, I think 16% even, um, that can add a pretty sizable chunk to your uh, monthly house payment. Well, here in Alabama, we have the second lowest property taxes in the country. Our property taxes are on average about 0.46. And that means if you've got a $100,000 home, you're going to pay about $460 a year in property taxes. So not bad at all. Now, we do have a sales tax here in Alabama. We've got a state tax, and typically you've got a county tax and a city tax. And uh, that averages right around 9%. And that is sales tax on, on everything. You're going to pay 9%. We also have an income tax here in Alabama, and it is on average 5%. So you may live somewhere where, uh, you know, there is no income tax, but chances are you're going to be paying a much higher property tax. So that's one of the great things around here, our property taxes. Uh, we are the second lowest in the country. We do have an average of 9 to 10% in sales tax, and we do have a 5% income tax. But again, when you compare the cost of living here, as to other parts of the country, I think you're going to find that we, uh, we have a very respectable number on hand. So what I want to do is I'm going to pull up my computer here. And uh, this is uh, bestplaces.net is the website. And we're going to compare the cost of living to Madison, Huntsville, Athens Indicator with the rest of the country. So you'll see here the way this works is the indices are based off a U.S. average of 100. An amount below 100 means that you have a cheaper than average cost of living, and an amount above 100 means you have a higher, or it's more expensive to live there. So let's start with Madison. Madison is the little bedroom community here that everybody loves. And you can see overall, as compared to uh, the USA, well, we're at a 96, which puts us below the national average. And if you look at these overall, uh, overall is the total of all the costs of living categories weighted subjectively as follows. Housing, 30%. Food and groceries, 15%. Transportation, 10%. Utilities, 6 Healthcare, 7 And then miscellaneous expenses such as clothing, services, and entertainment are weighted at 32%. State and local taxes are not included. That's something completely different. So overall, you can see the cost of living uh, index for Madison is below the national average. Now, Alabama as a whole is much lower. And a lot of that has to do with the fact that uh, there are affluent pockets in the state of Alabama, Huntsville, Birmingham, Montgomery, and Mobile. But then we have a lot of rural areas as well where the cost of living is going to be much lower. So let's look at the grocery store. Groceryville, you know, you're going to buy groceries wherever you are and you're going to pay for them. So we're right about the national average at 93. Healthcare, our healthcare in Madison is a little higher. We're at 105 and the national average is 100. This is the average cost of health care calculated using the standard daily rate for a hospital room and the cost of doctor's office visits and dental checkups. I can tell you, our hospitals here, they're great, but they're going to charge you. Oh, you want an aspirin? Sure, that's $1,000. <laughs> I exaggerate, but not much. All right, so let's look at housing. This is the one that concerns folks that I talk to, and this is the median cost of an area's average home for both buying and renting, does not include property taxes. You can see that we are, once again, under 
the national average, we're at a 97.4, which means cost of living to purchase housing here is going to be less overall. Now our median income home cost, now this is Madison, again, a very affluent area, median home income 293.2, statewide, you can see a lot of rural areas reflected in this, and uh, across the country 291. So we're right there, a little above average. Utilities, our utilities are a little less, 95 as compared to 100. Transportation, 80 per, or a score of 80 rather than 100. And, and admittedly, here in North Alabama, we don't have these huge mass transit systems like you would have in Atlanta and Chicago. We've got nice little buses, uh, but we don't have the big mass transit systems, but even that is less experience, uh, expensive. Blech. Miscellaneous, the cost index of those goods and services not included in the cost of living categories, including clothing, restaurant repairs, entertainment, and other services. So we are a little higher across the board than the, uh, the national average, all right? So that is the city of Madison. So now let's take a look at, what do we got next here? Now let's look at the Huntsville Metro. This is our main metro area here. And again, uh, going off the national average of 100, the average cost of living in Huntsville, you could see well below national average, 88.5. Uh, groceries are a little cheaper in the city of Huntsville. Uh, healthcare, again, is going to be high. Housing, look at this, 71 as opposed to 100. So this tells you that the median cost of homes in Huntsville, uh, with, uh, not including uh, property taxes, of course, are 71. So the cost of living, the cost of uh, buying a home here, your ability to get more house for your dollar in Huntsville is much greater. Uh, median home price, 236.9 compared to 291. Huntsville homes are less than the city of Madison. Uh, excuse these ads that they, uh, won't go away. Utilities, 96 compared to, to uh, 100. Transportation, 85. Again, miscellaneous, just a tad higher. So you can see overall, we are about 12 points under uh, the national average. All right, so let's see what else we got here. All right, so now let's take a look at the city of Athens. Now, Athens is a town, a smaller town to the west of Huntsville. It's in Limestone County. And let's take a look at their rating. Ad Athens is a very popular place to live. As Huntsville and Madison become more crowded, a lot of folks are looking to Athens for housing. So overall, much less, 83.9 compared to 100. You can see uh, groceries are cheaper, 94.7. Healthcare, that's going to be high across the board. It's going to be the same regardless. Housing is much less expensive in Limestone County, city of Athens. You can see the median home income there is 198.3 as opposed to 291. So that's considerably less. Utilities are less. Transportation is less. There is no public transportation in the city of Athens that I'm aware of. So maybe that's, uh, let's see. Okay, average cost of gasoline, car insurance, maintenance expensive, mass transit fees, et cetera, et cetera. So it costs you less to operate a motor vehicle in the city of Athens. That's good to know. All right, and then miscellaneous, it's actually a little lower. All right, so that is the city of Athens. There's one more city I wanna look at, and that is the city of Decatur. Uh, the way this area is laid out, you have Huntsville, and then about 15 minutes to the west, you have Madison. Uh, another 30 minutes to the west, you have Athens. And then south of Athens in Madison is Decatur. Decatur is uh, a city that is on the Tennessee River. It is called the River City. And you can see the cost of living there is, uh, is much lower. The economy there is much lower. Everything is cheaper in Decatur. 77 to 100 for overall. Groceries, 93.7. Healthcare is actually under the national average indicator. Housing, much less. Look at this, the average median home cost in the city of Decatur, 154.5. Decatur property values are not as high as Madison County, Huntsville, Madison. Uh, Decatur is traditionally a more of a renter's market. Something like 60% of housing in the city of Decatur is actually rental property. So it's a very popular property or a very popular area now with investors. And you can see utilities are 93 as opposed to 100, transportation is less, and then the miscellaneous is less. So overall, 
at the end of the day, as we compare uh, North Alabama as a whole uh, to the national average, our cost of living here is going to be lower, depending on whether you live in Madison, Huntsville, Athens, Decatur, or somewhere out in the county. So hopefully that was helpful. I know that's something a lot of people have to consider when they're moving here. It's not just home prices, but their monthly payments. Uh, if they've got a lot of family, they got groceries, all of the other things that go into uh, what we call the cost of living. So hopefully that was helpful. If you've got any questions, all you got to do is drop me a comment below and I will take a look at those and answer them for you. Hey, don't forget, if you like what we do here on the channel, uh, do me a favor, just click the uh, subscribe button, the like, and click the little bell notification icon. That way you never miss another video. And God forbid you miss this because it is and entertainment value, right? So, hey, and by the way, don't forget, if you are looking at moving to the area, uh, I've got Revolved Realty here. I've got almost 80 agents on the ground ready to go to work for you. Uh, every day, we are hearing from people all over the country who are moving to the area and they want our assistance and we're always glad to help. So, uh, what you can do is just contact me. My information is below and we will jump on a call and we'll talk about what, uh, what your plans are, what you're looking for, and ultimately what we can do to help you uh, achieve those goals by moving right here to North Alabama. All right, guys, that's it. I hope that was helpful. Get out and make it a great day. I'll talk to you soon.